If you see my face uh, looking the same with the same shirt and hair and everything today, I'm trying to do multiple videos like in bulk today because I don't have a whole lot of time. Like I don't get this many days off of work with my roommate gone to film often. So I'm going to be doing multiple product reviews today while I can just get the filming done. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Just letting you guys know. Hey everybody, it's White Rose Beauty and today I have a first impressions slash product review that I'm going to do. But first of all, I need to address this issue. So, here it is, uh, it's 91 fucking degrees. Real feel? 104. Kill me. I had to blot my face with like just a towel or something because I was sweating. I did my makeup like barren cheeks and everything. I just put foundation on a little bit of eyeliner and everything so I could do this first impressions. I went downstairs to get my laundry twice. Like I had to put it in the washer and then the dryer. I live in an apartment complex where the laundry room is like a communal laundry room. And oh my God, it is so hot in there. It's just so hot outside in general. 104 fucking degrees? Kill me. <sighs> All you people who live in like, like Greenland and Minnesota <laughs> or like Michigan and New York, all these cold places usually, like, you're so lucky. It is so goddamn hot down here all the time and I am so pale and I sweat so easy. It's horrible. I belong in the snow. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to get into this first impression so I'm going to stop ranting about where I live. And the product I'm going to be reviewing today is the Hula Benefit Bronzer, which is like a cult classic amongst YouTubers of the makeup variety. So I got this at Sephora. Packaging is like really cute little box with a little magnetic clasp. Ah, I like that. <laughs> and here's the product. It's a very light, bronzy kind a shade. Hopefully it's good on my skin. Like I heard it was good for pale girls so I'm like I gotta try that dude. And I, I went into the store that day with my friend at Sephora. I'm like I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. I don't have the money for it. I'm not gonna buy it. And then later on that day I have to go back to the mall and I bought it. <laughs> Felt so bad. I'm like I can't believe I did this. But here is the product. You have a little mirror inside, which I'm probably gonna have to use because I've been doing my makeup in my viewfinder like for my little white tiger makeup tutorial. And um, I mean, I'm pretty good at makeup. So I've been doing it for like two or three years. So I mean, it's not that hard to do like just finding where you're going, but you know, it's, it helps to have a mirror. So what we're gonna do now is I can't get the plastic off the mirror. Maybe it just doesn't, not supposed to come off. I don't know. So what I'm going to be using to apply it is my e.l.f. Uh, this is the small tapered brush. They're not the best brushes, but they're something. See, it's fraying right there. I just want to pull that out. Yeah, they're not the best brushes, but they're good for like cheap alternatives when while well, you can't afford Morphe, more Sephora. So <laughs> they're really good just for a beginner or someone who's on a budget most of the time, like me. So I'm just gonna dip it on in here a couple times. There's a lot of product on there already. Woo! Let me bronze your cheeks. So, all right, here we go. Let's see, can I do it in the viewfinder or should I do it in the mirror? Let's see, the mirror is very small. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go get my elf mirror. All right, yeah, you see that? Elf knows what's up. It's my little setup right here, my, my window. Oh, hello me, reflective packaging. Yeah, look at you, there you are. Let me clean the mirror off a little bit. There you are. <laughs> okay, now we can do that. Yep, all the products still on there. I'm trying to go very light, like it. This powder is really, really powdery. It gets on there real good. I don't wanna be too blunt with this. I'm trying to go for a kinda semi-natural look. Here we go. Ooh, that's orange. Whoa, whoa, is that just the lighting? Holy crap. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. That was with like one, one little 
One little dab. Jesus H. Christ. Look at that contour. Holy shit. I look like I like blotched whatever on my face. I hope this isn't just because I was sweating a ton. <laughs> well, let me try to blend it out. Let's see how that works. <laughs> to you guys it doesn't look too bad like on the mirror in natural lighting I found that on the camera though jeez I mean it looks a little better doesn't look as harsh now that I blended it out I blended it pretty well <laughs> really went in there Let's see I don't know that's really bronze for my skin it might just be the lighting the lighting is really really bright like iridescent sun lighting. What you doing out there, son? Trying to kill everybody. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to contour my nose a bit with it. I'm kind of scared to do this because <laughs> of how bronze it was, but I, I can, let's see. All right, there we go. See, it doesn't look as bad in the mirror. That looks good on camera, I find. Let me just go in there with a blending brush. I mean, all right, the nose doesn't look half bad on camera. It really doesn't. But the cheek, I feel is like really extreme. I don't know, I'm gonna do both sides of my face and then I'll, I'll be the judge of it. And I'll check back with you guys in a second. Okay, so. The way I'm seeing it, this side is, I went pretty light handed on this side and it did come out kind of heavy, but I went even less product, even lighter on this side. And I think this side looks a lot better, a lot more natural and a lot more believable. So might have just been my fault. I will disclaim, I didn't think about this before. I did think about it, but I didn't really like actually, um, you know, consider this while I was doing the makeup. but. I did think about it before and forgot to mention. Um, I do have mattifying powder on, so it did dry my face, which is not essentially the problem because it actually does help my powder blend out better, but it is super, super hot outside. The humidity is unreal. It's like swimming. So the blotchiness, I will chalk up to my sweat messing up my foundation in general, even though I stepped outside for like two freaking minutes. I am legitimately angry about this goddamn weather. I hate this weather so much. I hate this state. I hate it. It is so hot. <laughs> it ruins your makeup. It will ruin your makeup in a flash. This stupid weather. Even in the winter, it's like 70 degrees in time. Anyway, um, yeah, that is my first impressions of this Hula Bronzer. Um, I like it. I do. This is nice. It is. It's a nice little natural makeup, and you can go super dramatic with it if you want. We've proven that. Um, I would give it, I'd say like a 9, eight, 9 or 8 out of 10. For pale girls, 7.5 out of 10 to 8 out of 10. I don't know, because it's really hard to judge how much you're going to need. But if you're like super ultra mega white porcelain milk skin like me, I recommend it. Just be very, very light. You need barely any of this. Just be very light with it. You got it, girls? <laughs> so that is my review for it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am White Rose Beauty, aka Jalex, and I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.